Hi guys, welcome to Stefan Eats and in this video we're finally going to explore French food. I know I've been talking about it for a very long time, but this time uh, I don't think we're in uh, Vancouver. Anyways, yes, I am next to some pretty flowers, but I'm also next to something uh, much more beautiful. Yes, the Eiffel Tower. I'm here in uh, Paris and I'm finally traveling. I'm so excited. I love you, Vancouver, but this is also kind of the goal of uh, this YouTube channel is to be able to travel. Unfortunately, we don't have David anymore. Our cameraman is gone. Uh, we have a new camera woman behind the, behind the thing there, my cousin. Uh, which probably doesn't oh there you go. Yeah, little <laughs> thumbs up. Hey Perfect. So yeah, I will have many different camera people on this trip in these next uh, few videos that you are gonna see I'm gonna explore uh, French food in Paris, but not only French food some cool little spots you can try We're gonna continue uh, doing some other spots in France Maybe going back to my hometown and then uh, possibly another country too. Let's go to our first place Originally, I wanted to go somewhere else, but everything's kind of changed up a little bit very hungry though. Let's go eat. Here we are and uh, one thing I do have to note is that uh, whenever you are in Paris get ready for a plan B and C and always be ready to uh, have another thing. Things never go as planned obviously. So we had two restaurants planned, uh, both of them were uh, fairly full so uh, they recommended this place uh, called, uh, I think it's just Le Comptoir which means uh, the counter. So we've got some uh, pretty stereotypical dishes, uh, they have some cool uh, twists on some dishes and whenever you are going to a restaurant in Paris and anywhere in France right now, make Make sure when you be even before you arrive if you can get the sanitary pass it's a barcode you have to kind of it's like a proof of vaccination and you'll have to show this almost everywhere you go uh, but anyways we ordered some cool dishes and uh, looking at the other tables looks pretty good and of course you know, a big a half liter of wine because yeah, we're in France, obviously. First two dishes that have shown up, and of course we had to get snails, uh, escargot uh, de Bourgogne. So, uh, this is full of herb butter, and look how beautiful this is here. Look at that, absolutely amazing. Full of butter and just full of herbs. A little specific snail fork. Yes, you'll only find this in France. <laughs> and let's dig right in, and let's see if I can get this snail out of there. Oh, yes, look at that. Oh. Oh, beautiful. Yes, perfect. So yeah, just absolutely dripping in all those herbs and that butter. And yeah, let's take a bite. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You get a lot of the flavor of the butter. Now, snails don't have too much of a taste. Uh, it's more about kind of the texture and of course the butter that goes with it. But the butter is really good. I think there's a little bit of garlic in there and some herbs. And of course, you know, this beautiful kind of crusty bread. We're in France, so the bread is very, very good quality. Look at that kind of big, kind of giant crusty bread. They give you a lot of it, and that's perfect for the snail, because look at all this amazing snail juice on the bottom. Oh, yes, absolutely beautiful. Let's take a dip in there. 
Oh, and there you go. I think we need some more, so let's let's dip a little bit more in there. Yeah. And of course, when you're eating this, you want to eat these uh, fairly quickly. Uh, you don't want to eat at a snail's pace, of course. Just, can you get it? It says, it says snail. <laughs> Let's go on to the foie gras. And this is very simply served. Uh, but what I love already is they're not skimping on the foie gras. Is look at this. These two massive kind of big boys. <laughs> It's almost like a foie gras steak and just a beautiful color coming from there. Look how amazing that is. And I'm just going to break it. Look at this. Oh, yes. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> and that interior is just absolutely amazing, uh, almost pinkish. And you get a little bit of the duck grease uh, that is on the outside. And of course, the super kind of crispy bread. Oh, this. If done well, I think they uh, they put a whole bunch of uh, sea salt and uh, some uh, some pepper on there. One of my favorite uh, guilty pleasures in the world. Guilty for many reasons, obviously. Uh, but yeah, let's just take a bite. Super creamy, super luscious, super foie gras -y. Just epic melt in your mouth. Just amazingness. There's a sweetness coming from somewhere. I'm not sure what it is. Hey, you know what? It might be this. Let me just see. Oh, yes. Mmm. That's orange. I think it's like some kind of orange marmalade. And uh, then, yeah. Wow. That's a great combination. That foie gras is very kind of... Foie gras is very rich. So you need to normally counterbalance it with something that's sweet. Really, really good. Good start. And uh, we're going to eat this. And we have, I think, two more dishes here. And the main courses are now showing up. And the first one is a cod. And what was really cool is they have some uh, pasta. I think it's tagliatelle uh, based on squid ink. Uh, and there's some corn in there. The dish is actually uh, in a lemongrass broth. Uh, and uh, I think the cod is just normally cooked. Uh, but anyways, yeah, let, let's take a little bit. This is her dish. So I'm going to take uh, one bite and that'll be nice after. Uh, so cod right here and look at how it's just going to flake apart beautifully. Very nicely cooked, uh, still a little bit kind of medium rare in the middle. And other than that, not too much seasoning, so it's a very, very kind of mild dish. What actually really put me onto this dish was this squid ink tagliatelle. Okay, this one, hopefully, hopefully this one works. Let's go. Yeah, very fresh. Uh, the only thing is maybe could use just a little bit more like salt or a little bit more flavor. But I really like the fish. The broth is nice and the tagliatelle is uh, it's very well cooked. Now this one here, yes. This is one of my favorite dishes in the world. This is a tartare de boeuf. So obviously beef tartare uh, topped with rockets. And what I love too, look what they've done. I'm going to just kind of uh, peel this away like a beautiful onion. And just to reveal this amazing yolk. And you know exactly what we're going to do here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Oh, just mix it all together. Seven wonders of the world. I think there's an eighth one now. It's going to take a giant bite. And what I really like too, is they put some fresh peas inside of it. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna let that dissolve in my mouth and you know what? Maybe I'll keep it in my mouth uh, just for a little bit. Maybe until the next meal. Super kind of creamy, buttery beef. The egg just adds so much to it. You know what's really cool too? Look at this. There's actually some pomegranate in here too, adding a little bit of sweetness. I don't think I had a pomegranate on my first bite, but those peas just add an extra kind of harder texture. The peas are not very cooked, uh, so you got a little bit of crunch from the peas. The egg adds to the whole velvetiness of the whole dish. This might be my favorite dish at this restaurant, to be honest. I think uh, we have room for dessert, though. Let's go find some dessert. Oh, 
What? Il gelato del Marchese. Our waiter was actually Italian and we we're asking about dessert and he pointed us to a place literally just across the street called, I think it's uh, Gelato di Marchese. And he, he's Italian, he said it's good. I think it's gonna be good too. Hand gestures too. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so we're gonna go inside. There's a little bit of a lineup and apparently really kind of out there flavors, but also he said it's really good quality too. So we're gonna do that. Uh, today is just kind of random. We're kind of figuring things out. Everything we planned is uh, not happening. Uh, so uh, what we're gonna do is get ice cream. After that, there's a museum, maybe three, four blocks away. That looks kind of cool. And then uh, we're gonna have some dinner. And of course, in a typical Parisian fashion, uh, the museum is closed even though everywhere else it said it's open. It's very French. Anyways, uh, luckily it's very close to uh, a beautiful, uh, yeah, a really beautiful uh, bunch of gardens called Jardin de Luxembourg, the Luxembourg Gardens, uh, where it's right over here. So let's just take a stroll and maybe that'll make us a little bit more hungry for the next meal we're gonna have. Let's go. place today uh, is gonna be kind of an experience uh, for me. Paris, not only known for French food, Paris has such a diverse population, a whole bunch of populations from around the world uh, come here to live. I'll stop talking because um, we've walked a lot. We're tired. We want some beer and we want some more food. Well, let's go inside. Uh, yeah, it's called ground control. What a really cool vibe. Yeah, you walk up these stairs and then you see a bunch of trains. And this was actually, I think, part of an old uh, station. And then you come out, there's all these kind of food trucks, a uh, whole bunch of drink spots. Unfortunately, yeah, the inside is closed, but the outside is still open. So there are some food carts to try. Uh, we've got some drinks. And then, of course, we have our uh, mandatory terrine. Uh, so terrine is kind of just like a 
It's, a, it's meat kind of ground up, almost like a pate, and maybe a little bit more coarse. So this one is made with wild uh, boar. This is so French, I just love it. It's a freaking pot of terrine. <laughs> just look at this. There you go. Uh, just soaking in its own fat with a whole bunch of bread. Just absolutely amazing. And the best part about the terrine is, you can take it to go. Like that terrine action going on. Oh yeah. Sometimes it's the most simplest things that will make you the happiest. That made me so happy. Wow, amazing kind of fake truffle flavor. You just taste the kind of deep, boary flavor. And then just, yeah, super meaty, super delicious. The bread is nice, it's still fresh. Wow, just an epic terrine. I love it. What you get with the kind of uh, uh, the glass phase is you get a little bit of that fat on the side that just intermingles uh, wood, <clears throat> all the other meat, and it's so good. I love this so much. Food like this it makes me very emotional. So you know, there's a tear maybe somewhere in here. Very deep, but it's, it's slowly coming out. Let's go find some other food. There's some other really cool stuff here. So a lot of stuff is closing up, but I've managed to uh, get my hands on uh, these fries. Now, these are not just normal fries. It's gonna come with a little bit of cheese. And this is a special, really funky cheese called Marwal. So Marwal is one of probably the stinkiest cheeses you can find in France. A super, almost, it smells like a foot. Yeah, and it's, I love it though. <laughs> it's, it's one of my favorite things ever. And normally what you put it on are, are potatoes, a whole bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh, I love that smell. It's Get some fries and let's just dip it into this amazing cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. It's actually not too funky. It's almost like a, it's like a warm cream, and then you get a little bit of like you know cheesy funk from it. When you get this, it kind of permeates the whole table. You can you know maybe the neighbors can smell it too. But overall, it's a pretty good cheese sauce. Uh, the other good thing too, the fries are great. The fries are super crispy, uh, and yeah, just amazing crispy fries. Uh, kind of like thinner. Oh yeah, it's great fries, but yeah, it's all about that cheese sauce. I also saw another kind of South American uh, little joint just over here. We got some stuff from there too. And our last dish completely in the dark. Uh, this is the only thing they had left. So if I would recommend one thing, it would be to come here on, I think it's Wednesdays to Saturdays because there's more stuff open. But anyways, chilaquiles in France. I never thought I'd ever say those two words uh, together. But anyways, here we are. Uh, so, chilaquiles, uh, for people who do know what they are. Uh, tortilla chips uh, with a whole bunch of sauce. This is a chicken one, and look at this. Uh, so yeah, a whole bunch of white sauce. Uh, normally chilaquiles, what I'm used to is the green sauce. Uh, but this is all they had left. Uh, they do have some kind of Costa Rican and also some Colombian dishes. Anyways, here is one bite uh, with the chicken on it, and uh, we'll see. Yeah, Mexican food in France. I don't know, I don't know what to expect. You know what? I like it. It's really good. A little bit of spice. The chicken is beautifully uh, seasoned. Uh, now, the only thing are the tortilla chips. The tortilla chips, they're kind of like the cheap, uh, they're kind of like the cheap ones you find, kind of like those Tostitos. Uh, so that's maybe the only thing I would change about the dish. Is it really traditional chilaquiles? Not really. Uh, but that chicken's really flavorful. I like the white sauce on it, and the flavor of the chicken is, is great. And yeah, actually, that will uh, do it for our uh, Paris uh, video. Yeah, it's one of those videos where really nothing uh, went to uh, plan. Uh, like I said, I had a whole bunch of uh, spots lined up, and it didn't really pan out. Anyways, what I'm gonna try to do is uh, film a little bit uh, more of uh, the surrounding areas. Obviously, uh, being in Europe, it's super beautiful. The architecture is amazing. In the next video, what you will see is me going to my home town. I think you've gotten some hints on Instagram uh, as to what that hometown may be. And yeah, I've done a couple of videos there. And then uh, after that, I will go to a brand new uh, country and you will see there's some epic videos coming up. Anyways, I really do hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, Paris video. If you do enjoy our uh, videos, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon so we can notify you of future videos. And of course, uh, hit us up with those comments. If there's any places in uh, Paris, our French subs, uh, if, you, if you're in there, you know, you can comment a little bit. Uh, yeah, I probably only have like two or three of those, maybe four. I'll see you soon and ciao for now.